the Nautilus, and the Ammonite. The Nautilus and the Ammonite were launched in friendly strife, each sent to float in its tiny boat on the wide, wide sea of life. For each could swim on the ocean's brim, and when wearied, its sail could furl and sink to sleep in the great sea deep, in its palace of all pearl. And theirs was a bliss, more fair than this, which we taste in our colder clime. For they were rife in a tropic life, a brighter and better clime. They swam mid isles whose summer smiles were dimmed by no alloy, whose grooves were palm, whose air was balm, and life one only joy. They sailed all day through creek and bay, and traversed the ocean deep. And at night they sank on a coral bank, in its fairy bowers to sleep. And the monsters vast of ages past, they beheld in their ocean caves. They saw them ride in their power and pride, and sink in their deep sea graves. And hand in hand, from strand to strand, they sailed in mirth and glee. These fairy shells with their crystal cells, twin sisters of the sea. And they came at last to a sea long past. But as they reached its shore, the Almighty's breath spoke out in death, and the Ammonite was no more. So the Nautilus now, in its shelly prow, as over the deep it strays, still seems to seek, in bay and creek, its companion of other days. And alike do we, on life's stormy sea, as we roam from shore to shore, thus tempest-tossed, seek the loved, the lost, and find them on earth no more. Yet the hope how sweet again to meet as we look to a distant strand, where heart meets heart and no more they part who meet in that better land. Hi everyone, I'm Martha Knox. Many thanks for checking out this read aloud version of The Nautilus and the Ammonite. While the lyrical words were penned by an anonymous author, the artwork is mine. As a published book, The Nautilus and the Ammonite will be marketed to natural history museums, libraries, and independent bookstores as a way to introduce the KT event and paleontology to children through poetry and art. If you enjoyed this video, help me raise funds for the first edition. Please check out the link to the Indiegogo campaign and tell all your friends. Oh, and a big thanks goes out to K.M. Scott for contributing his voice talent. Peace.